All right. Episode 21, Brady Matthews here with Fizza Dasani, y'all. Fizza Dasani. Uh, you're from Florida, you said? I said I'm from Florida. But how long have you lived in L.A.? Oh, my God. 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. Damn. How long have you been doing stand-up for? Six. Okay. But I started in Florida years before that. I don't count that. Yeah. I don't count that. That was a different life. How, how was it? Like, I know when I first started out, uh, I was awful. I was absolutely terrible. Yeah. Did you like the process when you first started, or was it, did you find it super-duper hard? It was accidental. Really? So my did mom... Someone ch- did someone dare you? Well, it's sort of. So I was 16. My mom signed me up for a community talent show. No shit. Against my will. Wait, did you dance or anything like that? Or? I, I did. I was a performer, but like I, I sort of was always a comic. Like I was disruptive in school because that was my like, that was the platform, right? right? I didn't have like there was no stand-up comedy anything right. in Fort Myers, Florida. Sure. So that was my parent, and that was sort of like my mo. So my mom was like, "Oh, let me get validation through my child and sign her up for this shit." And I was pissed. Right. But, like, it was actually, you know, I'm grateful she did that shit because, like, I actually, I roasted her the entire time and I won the Aww. talent show. Wait, is, so is, is mom, is your mom, like, your, your best friend? No. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I love my mom. I'm not, I grew up in a culture where there's not, we don't know how to be close to oh, family. I get it. We have I, to sort of learn it. Sure. So. It's a, it's a work in progress. Yeah. And then she still talks to me like a kid. So it's sometimes actually I get 10% of the time I get like, I get like lucid, cool mom. She's dope. Right. Like it's adult to adult, but then like 90% is like anxiety. Really? Yeah. So, and, and I love her, you know, I just, you know, we, we all. Does I've, she still try to mother you like a, a lot? Like, does she ever give you advice on like jokes and stuff like that? No, my dad does. I love that. He's he's funny. He goes, he you can put those in your comedy. bits. You can put that in your uh, your sketches. Oh, he'll tell me like I. It's just I don't relate to your hospital jokes. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to sell that? You know, like I don't connect to that. So Wait, it, you come from a smart family, though. Your mom and dad are both doctors. Yeah, my mom never practiced. So intellectually smart, but like I told you earlier, I wasn't born on third base in terms of mental health. Sure. Um, both my younger siblings are doctors too. Are they really? Yeah. What kind of doctors? Uh, my sister's doing residency for neurology, and my brother is going into um, just, uh, I think, general practice residency. He's a, he's a wild card, too, so. What, uh, I mean, do they have, like, your sense of humor, or are you the, are you the uh, per se, black sheep, if you will? Everyone, I think everyone has a good sense of humor, but I think it's because everyone's so miserable. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, nowadays, everyone's so miserable, period, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so do they like? <laughs> I didn't mean this so dark. I'm no, just not like, at all. No, we we get to no. Um, do do you like? Do they do they uh, like love what you do or are they? Yeah, you they're know? you know I'll say this. They've they're extremely supportive. Yeah. Um, it, it was I you know I, they weren't at first like yeah go do this shit they were like uh that sounds a little crazy yeah. and also we're immigrants and we don't have a blueprint for that right so like you know it might be it's really hard to become a doctor i've just sort of seen the process oh i would i would assume so and placement is a big thing like right. so having sort of that model it was i think you know it it makes it it's a privilege yeah so it made it it was helpful to, for them to get into med school because it's just even for that it's still really hard. Did they did, even did, with them? It was super hard. So it's, I don't even know how people do that. Did shit. they push you into trying to do it too, or you know, I didn't have a lot of ambiguity. Um, I sort of knew that I didn't want to be a doctor. Yeah. With my brother and sister, they they saw sort of like, a, well, you know, sh- there's a little bit of an interest. Let's push. So I feel like there was um, more pressure on my younger, younger yeah. siblings. Did you get good grades growing up? I, I did, but I didn't try very hard. And actually, I didn't like how they mm-hmm. called people out on the honor roll. Because that's the thing. is like when you're the only brown I never kid, got the I never got that call. <laughs> I, it just sort of hammered call. into us. Like, we're just like, I, you know, I... It was... Being a student wasn't hard. Yeah. I was, I was more interested in performing. Like, right. I wanted that outlet. Did you do talent shows and shit like that? I mean, I, I would... Any opportunity to perform, like, if there was some school shit or, right. like, our TV... I actually got banned from our TV thing for making fun of cheerleaders. What? You're yeah, banned the, for that shit? The cheerleading coach got offended. Of course. Because she... Yeah, it, so, I, I don't remember her name, but... 
but you know, th thank you for being a hater. Right. You know, <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you for fueling the fire, bitch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're so I get back to your mom. Your mom pushed for you. Does she? Pushed you to do stand up comedy or how'd that work out? No, you said? no. I mean, she, she, of course, they'd want me to be a doctor because <clears throat> yeah. then they'll be like, she's, she'll be okay. Make a lot of money. Yeah, but um, I, I think, I think they believe in me. You yeah. know, I well, think they do. And it's crazy. Well, because, I've seen you. You're super talented. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. And, you know, but I, I don't think they understood, like, you know, they, it's, it sounds crazy. Like, I'm just some kid in Florida, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to do all that shit. You have to have a level of, like, a yeah. certain level of delusion to want to do this. Oh, of course. Did I remember I saw Dane Cook um, on Comedy Central. You were probably, like, five. But I saw him on, on You'd be Comedy surprised. Central. <laughs> good Brown does not break down. <laughs> I'm telling you, you look good. Um, Thank you. <laughs> but I saw Dane Cook, and I was like, that's what I want to go do. And then I yeah. went and did it, and I was like, oh, this is really hard. This is really fucking hard. Yeah. You have to work really hard at it because he makes it look. He made it look so effortless. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Um, it used to be called Premium Blend. You remember that? Paul? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's MTV, right? Yeah. Oh no, Comedy Central. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and he went up and just fucking crushed it. And I was like, that looks easy, and it's super duper hard. Like, who were your influences when you first started doing stand-up? Oh my god. So that when I was a kid, and you know what, I did have an interest in comedy even before I did stand-up. Yeah. Um, I'd say like sort of when I started getting into comedy, Chris Rock, because oh, yeah. he was the biggest yeah. at the time and just so smart and, and dope and he's great. Oh yeah. Funny. Um, but the first sort of stand up special I saw was Robin Williams. I think it was oh, like on sure. comedy central. He was yeah. coked out oh, yeah. <laughs> and like, I didn't sweating his ass off. Yeah. And I didn't know about <laughs> drugs back then, but yeah. I was like, that dude looks free. <laughs> and I was like, I, whatever he's doing, I want, so like, you know, I can be he high. Like he stepped out of a car wash when he was done with that special. I know. <laughs> like <laughs> he was legit. So wet. <laughs> he was so wet. That's like Pablo Francisco. Yeah. I remember seeing him on stage and I guess he was coming off like a coke binge or something yeah. and he was dripping balls on stage and he was like you could see you ever seen that special Paul Pablo Francisco when he's just dripping sweat uh, yes and it was hilarious I, I love Pablo Francisco yeah. huge fan well they're working <clears throat> oh they're yeah working your ass off yeah like you, you know sometimes when you're you, you get sometimes you get sweaty I mean we don't oh, like sure. we're doing like 10 minute fucking sets in LA but like I've gone on stage and I've been sweating my nuts yeah, off but, like, you one because I was bombing but yeah <laughs> I mean, you can you can start sweating if you're bombing in like Good. in like thirty seconds. Yes, I se bombed in Santa Barbara. It was, like <laughs> fucking, it was like a month ago. I was like, one, this was not my demographic. Two, this is not a good stage setup. Three, now I'm eating shit, and this person's sitting like right here in front of me, and you can see me dripping sweat. And I'm like so uncomfortable. I've never seen you bomb. Oh yeah, I love seeing great surprised. comics bomb because oh, you can learn so much. Bomb from that. my fuck. I bombed so hard that I was like, fifteen minutes in, I was like, how much time do I have left? <laughs> I had to do like 30 minutes and I was like I think I'm going to cut it at 20 I'm out of here have you done corporate gigs? Oh, the worst <laughs> the worst I remember my first corporate gig I did I fucking ate shit so bad there was no stage there was no microphone aren't you supposed to eat shit at corporate gigs? isn't I guess. just some cruel joke? literally you have to go up there and like okay so here's your bullet and here's your gun and just point at your head you when you're ready you earn the money you certainly earn it 1500 bucks for 30 minutes sure I'll take yep. it um, what was your first stand up gig like? walk me through that my first gig. Yeah. Um, was it fun or was it was it a school? Was it a club? What was it? it What's it? It's just like what do I consider my first? True. That's the thing. True. I mean, I remember my first time, and it was at Rooster Teeth Feathers. Was it really? Yeah. Are you from the Bay Area? Well, I lived there for a little bit. I I moved there from Chicago to save money and move yeah. down here. Um, but I went to Rooster Teeth Feathers and took my, I, were, I had glasses at the time. I took my glasses off, couldn't see shit, and I was drunk. So I was yeah. like, oh, and yeah, it was terrible. Was I drunk? See, you know, honestly, there, it's a little Getting hazy. drunk and doing stand-up is, is so hard. I was, um, so the transition from, I was getting my life together when I was getting into stand-up. Right. Um, I was, I was a fucking mess. Really? So... Just on all kinds. I was very unhappy. Yeah. And I, I just, because that's the thing, is I wanted to be a performer, and I was working, like, I had all types of jobs in L.A. What like were you I, doing before stand-up comedy? Um, I had a job where I worked in, in production and, like, pre-production also, like, financing independent films and finding distribution for them. Sounds like a lot of fucking work. It was awful. I just fell into it, and I have, like, okay, so I'm, like, naturally a good student. Yeah. <laughs> genetically. So... You know, I have an aptitude for, like, I, I got an office job, basically, and I just kept, I got promoted 
And I was miserable. Yeah. Like, I want to get into a car accident driving to work. Not like a fatal one, but like enough that like they can't you can talk make money. Shit. My <laughs> boss was such a, a dick. Like, I remember I was at my grandfather's funeral, like 20 minutes after I watched them like bury my grandfather i got like a bitchy email from him and i'm just he would throw staplers it was like one of those like your devil boss wears prada it's time to go fuck himself yeah i mean he had uh, he was probably on coke oh um you know and there's you know there's a lot of pressure right he had no coke he's just sweating all the time yeah, he was a sweater <laughs> sweating at work all the time he was a sweater mood he'd swings he'd always tell me it's a man's world it's a man's world. It's like no shit yeah. <laughs> as he shuts the door and locks it showed um, so when, so when you did, had your first stand up, you don't remember your first gig, but did you, <laughs> I mean, like, did you like, did you like when you first got up there? Cause, Cause the I, gig, well, like, who knows? Was it like at a, what do you consider a gig? Like a paid gig? Yeah. Like a paid gig. Oh, paid gig. Um, what was my first paid gig? <laughs> Every, <laughs> six years. It's been a long, long six years. It, yeah. It's been a good six years. Yeah. But like... What, a co- maybe okay, so like paid gig, yeah. Like college, yeah. Like say a co- like oh, that was. Do you do a lot of colleges? College. Um, I used to do do them more. I haven't. I want to get back into it because I want to take I want to take my tour to colleges. Yeah. Like yeah, we have facial recognition comedy. Right. So I'm sorry, it's so hazy. I was such a crazy addict. Really? Wait, so you <laughs> don't you don't you don't, you don't drink or anything like that anymore? Do you or? Occasionally, yeah. you know. I think I I, I felt- think all my friends are now sober. Like every single one of them, they're all. Sober or ish. You know, like the something that made me that like there was some sort of switch that flipped the first time I performed in front of my parents. And I think I did like an ass eating joke or something because that's what comics did back then, sure, right? Sure. And I think like I still do. <laughs> I think I still do. Yeah, we do that. Yeah. We all have one. You have yeah, to. Sure. You have to. But um, yeah, I performed in front of them for the first time. It was ho- terrifying. And right. then I just didn't i just actually quit drinking for a few years wow Dude. i was like oh shit like that was like there's so much fear-based parenting yeah. in asian households south asian households right well, in what, mine what, you know i can't your, speak what is for your everyone. background what is your what is your nationality so my parents are immigrants from india cool yeah okay that's cool and so um do you have how many brothers sisters do you have one brother and one sister one brother one sister yeah they're dope both doctors yeah, yeah, actually. So, yeah, do, so do they ever give you um, stand-up comedy, like, jokes or advice or anything? Or they're like, no. do, or they're like, have you seen this comedian? Have you heard of this comedian? No, well, again, like, I think we're becoming closer. I'm sort of starting to get to know them as adults. Yeah. So, I don't know if they get it, you know, it... They haven't been yet. Yeah. But I feel like when, if they do get annoying, I just hang up. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, well, so what about, no, I mean, what about, um, are they, in terms of, like, relationship advice, are they going to be, like, relationship advice, or? Yeah, you know, I'm starting to get, we're starting to get into that now, right. for the first time in our lives, and it's really cool. Yeah. Because we never, like, I, anyone I've dated, they've never met my parents. Really? Not one person I've dated. I was in a four and a half to five year relationship, and, and. And you never, never introduced them to and your he parents? didn't get it initially, and that was hurtful to them. But I think he understands. We're friends now, right? So, like you know, he understands the culture more. But it's just like, you know, it, it it's not worth the hassle. Yeah. You know, they don't want to meet a boyfriend. Totally. They want to meet a husband, and I don't even know if if I belie- if marriage is for me. You is know? your brothers and sisters married? No, no, no one's married. So are My you the oldest? Are very stressed. Are out. you the yeah. oldest? You're the oldest one. Of three. Yeah. Oh, damn, dude, and you're st- and you're young as hell too. I mean, like I said, good brown doesn't break down. I, I still want to work in Hollywood, so um, there's still a little age discrimination. What was your first shitty job? Oh, um, I used to work at a comp like a. What, th- Besides the called? production guy with the coke problem. Oh yeah, that came way later. I've had oh. lots of <laughs> lots of job jobs. I've had um, tons of jobs too. But like, I worked. What do you when you call people like? Oh, cold calling. Yeah, like, it, it was this company called SRBI. I actually got fired from job abandonment. I stopped showing up to work. Wow. I Look, I I had issues. I worked at Planned Parenthood, which was actually a great job. Yeah. And I, I didn't... But I was, like, a young teen when I got We're these jobs. We're feeling it. Um, 
you know, I think really I was just looking for excuses to sneak out of the house. Totally. And those jobs. Were, but also, like, one time I keyed an ex's car and I had to get a job at Shrimp Shack. Because he said, Shri "Hold on, the, the and way I ended what up you just, that Shrimp sense Shack. is that sense is hilarious." I keyed his car and I had to get a job at Shrimp Shack. Yeah, that's fucking great. I needed money because he that was. That should gonna... be a, that should be a bit. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. He had it coming, Brady. I had I had uh, I, I remember someone this girl I don't know who it was but I definitely did something wrong. I was I was 16 when I did. I don't do this shit anymore. I, was I just want to clarify you've that. You've grown you've grown up. Now you will just yeah. you will just spray paint it instead, right? <laughs> you've grown up. <laughs> and it'll look dope. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> Cuz you're an artist as well. Yeah. I had someone I um key my car, then I got it fixed, buffed out. What did you do? I have no idea, but obviously I did something awful. Um <laughs> and then I came back the next day, keyed again. They keyed it twice. Motherfucker had hate. What? Did you Hate. do? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Keyed twice. I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm not getting this fixed. This is what it is now. What did it say? It's just key. They just fucking like oh, real. See, I had a I message. Was like, it was almost like a knife. Like someone took a fucking butcher knife and just fucking keyed it in there. I was like, motherfucker. You know dude. what mine said? What did it say? Fuck. Bitch. Nice. Nice. Have you seen the Have you seen those ones online? I think there was a witness also. It was in the middle of the day. But he he really did. Ha he pu he pushed me. You wrote bitch with a key. Yeah. That's skill. He pushed me, and I flew across the room. And he's like, oh, I didn't know you go oh, flying across the room. Up. And so, like, I was very triggered. Sure. Well, so. Yeah, I mean, you're getting pushed <laughs> and thrown across the room. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. Uh, so are you, are you, like, what would you consider, like, like, on a first date, what would be considered, like, red flags for you? Me, bad breath and bad feet. Yeah, I'm that guy. Mm -hmm. I understand bad breath, mm -hmm. but, like, feet are subjective. True. True, very true. I'm just a, that's me. But they have um, to appeal to you. Correct. I found out I'm on WikiFeet. What is WikiFeet? You don't know what Wiki, it's a database of feet of notable women. Get the fuck out of here. And people who like my feet also like Jennifer Lopez's feet. Okay. Having said that, the only picture of my foot is like, it's very minimal. You can't see it. So I'm surprised I have, that's fine. I have a, you know who's got a bad decent feet? rating. If, who's got bad feet is uh, Kim Kardashian. She has bad feet. Yeah. Really? I've no, mm -hmm. no. Yes, you know who's bad feet too? Paris Hilton. Mm -hmm. Yep, I've seen it. Yeah. I don't think you'd like my feet. I will go in like this. I will fucking. Go. I have I alien. All my limbs are long. I got long. Yeah, Indian but you know feet. what? You have good features though. You have good features, so I mean, you know. So they can make up for. If you, if you don't like your feet, you have other things. I do that, like my feet. Well, there you go. I you, like them. Yeah, I, I don't know if you'd like them. Well, I mean, it's not up to me, you know. But I, have, <laughs> I, have, I have, like, yeah, yeah, I don't you know. know. If you're, I the don't heart know. wants what the heart wants, sure. right? <laughs> right. Have you ever, you've never seen the movie Boomerang, have you? Uh uh. With Eddie, Mur have you seen it, Paul? With, with Eddie Murphy and uh, Martin? No. They talk about feet for like an hour and a half. It's hilarious. I don't know. Feet it's a are fucking great. Guy. They're fascinating. Yeah, they're they're I, they're weird. They're weird. It, like also, why why do guys have nipples? Like, what do we need them? What, what do we need them for? You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit got weird, didn't it? No. It <laughs> I love it. I love, you know, I don't, I don't think we talk about guys' nipples enough. And I think you're courageous for bringing but why it up. Do we, why, do we, why do we need them? You know what I mean? I don't think you need them. I think they're ornamental. I mean, yeah. Are they sensitive? They're a little more sensitive? So My, it's like a little button. Like, sometimes when I go for runs, they get chafed. They get chafed? Yeah. I don't have, like, big nipples. I don't have, like, You I don't, don't have, moisturize? Like, I mean, I... I have some cocoa butter now on I do, <laughs> Now I do. I put a little... Put a little just to put a little desk. Oh, you run shirtless. There. Well, sometimes I run shirtless. Well, look at you. Yeah, dude, of course. I'm an athlete. What do you want me to do? Oh, you are? Sure. Did cool. you play sports in high school? No, no. I just like athletic wear because it's comfortable. Sure. I like to wear I like to wear my athletic wear and then not go to the gym all day. <laughs> do you ever do that? I'm yeah. doing it right now. Yeah, it's <laughs> um, where did you go to college? University of Miami in Hell Miami, yeah. Florida. I bet you were fucking I bet you were a, a crazy person in college. Where I had a blonde mullet. Yeah, exactly. But I didn't drink during that period of time. Okay, I could see that too. But I, I did. You had a blonde oh, mullet. Walk yeah. me through why, what what was the process of why you got a blonde mullet? It just sort of evolved. Like I saw this. Like I had a white friend. <laughs> that <laughs> I had one. A white friend. That one white friend. Yeah, no, she and she had like this hairdresser that gave her this sort of crazy thing, and I was like, I want to do something different. Yeah. So like it just evolved into a blonde mullet. Like you it started tattoos, off way more right? subtle. I don't have tattoos. So, I, see, I don't. I can't the, commit to a tattoo. That's where at the this blonde point. mullet came from. Exactly. Yeah. Ex that's what a great observation. See, I know, dude. I'm, I, yeah. I should be a fucking psychologist. Do you think? Why do you think we do this to our bodies? Is it? 
Look at me. I have fucking yeah. tattoos all over the place. What inspires them? My tattoos? Yeah. Well, this is one of my paintings. That's one of my paintings. Oh, tight. Yeah. And then I want to let people know that I'm from Chicago. So do you act as well? Cityscape. Yeah. So do you have to get, like, licenses yeah, from all your tattoo artists? Oh, no. No. I mean, uh, I think you're going to ask, do they, is it a pain in the ass for them to cover it up? No. Oh, they just cover it up. Yeah. Just yeah. take a little gun and go, f- 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 and all done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because um, that was another reason. I was like, oh, well, you know. You I know what? I've always loved tattoos. Everyone's like, aren't you going to regret having tattoos when you're older? I'm like. No, that's w- I can look back and go, yeah. that's what I wanted to do at that time. Otherwise, I'm going to be 50 and go, man, should I get a tattoo now? No. I've definitely wanted some tattoos. Like, I wanted, like, a neck tattoo. That's aggressive. A face tattoo. I wanted aggressive tattoos, but I think it was, like, what again, would you get on it's your a neck? way of acting out. Um, I don't know yet. I, but, like, also, I don't really, like, I'm not, like, dying to get a tattoo. So I feel like you have to really want it. Yeah. But, like... Yeah, you know, I wouldn't a mind a neck tattoo. Like, if I had it, I wouldn't, like, get it removed. You look good with a neck tattoo. Thanks. Yeah. Where would you get it? Like, right here or would you get it right here? On the side, I think. Yeah, this side. is too much. Yeah, this is aggressive. The lady that cuts my hair is a fucking butterfly. All right here. I'm like, that's got to hurt so bad. That's kind of actually cute, though. See, now you, now I get your brain turning. But, like, you know, I, it, for me, I think, like, what I saw would maybe be, like, something that meaningful. Yeah. Meaningful. Maybe all your all your family's names. How about that? I don't know. I don't know about writing tattoos. Like, like I know girls that have like legit paragraphs <laughs> I think on my their side. Get mad if I got their names tattooed on Probably. me. <laughs> like, well, uh, what the fuck is this? He even said to me, he's like, yeah, I'm glad my my kids never branded themselves. Like, he used the term branded. My mom says, why are you putting bumper stickers on a Ferrari? I was like, oh, that's so sweet. I was like, but I'm going to do it anyways. So That is so sweet. Do you have a great relationship with your mom? My mom's the best. Yeah, she is. She just came to visit me, and we hung out. And she's the kind of mom, she comes over, and she goes, "Uh, you know what you need. She always starts with, you know what you need. And I'm like, what do I need? And she goes, well, you need new carpets here. You need a new carpet in this room. And then she'll just start cleaning, like, the doors, you know, like, yeah. the side of the doors where people she'll open them up. She'll start cleaning? She'll just start cleaning. Like, the windows that's, that I have never even knew to clean. And I was like, oh, shit, that's a window? Can I didn't she even... come to my place? Yeah. Karen's, dude, she will come <laughs> to your place and fucking clean it all up. Sure. Yeah, What's new, her rate? Um, my mom, she's, she's about 15 bucks an hour. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. No, that's, that's great. That's good. That's I, It was almost too good. I was yeah. like, I, I'd feel... Can't beat that. Yeah, I do my own cleaning. I've never had a housekeeper. Yeah, I've never had a housekeeper either. So I don't. I had a. You want to hear something weird? I had a. Um, I had to call a wag for my dog. Yeah. I went and this guy, some guy came and took my dog out, and then I came home. All my pictures were turned a certain way. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> creepy as fuck? Yeah. Right. Did maybe they fell over or something? All fifteen of them. Like. A table was No, on? it was on, I have pictures by my TV, I have pictures on a fireplace. All of fireplace. them? All of them. That's, that sounds like that's a serial OCD. killer. Yeah, it's a serial killer and OCD, or something. Who does that? Yeah, that's, yeah, wow, that's like someone else's stuff that like, that, that could be some, OC- well, serial killing is sort of a form of OCD, you know? For sure. So I, it's just like, if you have OCD, maybe you have a more of a predisposition to compulsively But that, isn't that, isn't, I, I love we're breaking it down, isn't that weird that... I came, but I came home. It was terrifying. Yeah. All the pictures turned a certain way. Isn't that weird as fuck, Paul? That's really weird. I'm still processing it. Yeah. Because I feel, I'd feel, I, you know, speaking of first, I just filed my first police report against a stalker. You did? I've made you it. You got a stalker? I've got, a, I've got, I have, I've, always, I've had several stalkers, like light stalkers. Sure. Um, but this one's more hardcore. Yeah, he escalated, and I... Break it down for me. How, how, this this is guy's a, this been around for, like, 12 years. I, I was a filmmaker. That's what I studied in school. Right. So I, I actually moved to L.A. wanting to write and direct. That's okay. how I got into the production job. And, right. You know. Um, so this guy, I was young. I needed... I had a low budget. I just needed, like, a light dude. Yeah. And he had access to a lot of lights, professional lights. He worked at uh, one of the big companies, and... He's, I'm, I've seen him in person twice to meet him and to see the lights. And yeah. then when he came to set to work and I was in a relationship at the time and the entire time he just acted like I didn't have a boyfriend, but he's, he's off too. He has, How old is this guy? White I, guy, black guy? I, white Asian dude. Man? I think he was, I think he's about 10 years older than me. Um, still 10 years older than me. I'm sure. I, yeah, that doesn't um, change. I don't yeah. think. <laughs> he's like, actually, he's he's Benjamin Button. He he's l- aging backwards. <laughs> no, he's 
no, no. He, I, I could show you. A, I'll show you a picture because I, I had to it. compile like everything for the police report. But he he has a look in his eye that is terrifying. Really? I was I was fearful because at first, you know, when I was younger, I was naive. I was like, whatever. He's just a weirdo. He's, like, he's dangerous, and I love it. Well, no, I didn't. I was not attracted oh. to him whatsoever. <laughs> Absolutely no attraction whatsoever. Never. Yeah. Never gave him any indication. Um, and then he started sending me messages over the years, over the period of 12 years. And sometimes he'd disappear. And a lot of them were harmless. And I never really, I didn't really respond to Did it. he live by you? I don't know where. Oh, I found out he lives in Santa Monica. Oh. And you live in Santa Monica? No, I have. But I do have a show there. Oh, yeah. Wait, where uh, do you live? Um, well, I don't want to put it oh, out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, um, but I, I, I live, I'm based in Los Angeles. Right, the okay. great, greater Los yeah, Angeles. The greater area. Los Angeles basin or whatever you say. Yeah. Um, so what? So you went and filed the police report, and so what, what happens now? Because I've Nothing. had a stalker, I've had And they a even told too. me, they even told me, like, all the women I've talked to who, because this is not uncommon, they told me, like, you're, they're not going to do anything but start a paper trail and compile it. At least file the, even they try to discourage me from filing the report. I went in with a male friend. Wow. Because someone said, bring him in. And actually, like, when he s said something, then the, it, it's, you know, I don't know. I have a lot of issues with, with cops. Oh, yeah. Dude, trust me. I've had them come to my house. When I called them, I'm not going to tell the whole situation, yeah. but um, threw me on the ground and put his, his boot on my neck. And I'm like, bro, I'm, I fucking called you guys, dude. What the fuck? Just, yeah, just shoot first ask questions later sure. type of, or, or don't give a fuck. Right. About. Or just pick up the pieces as we go. Yeah. Basically. I hate those videos. You see them like choking people out and you're like, they're like, not even doing anything. I've gone to a police station twice <laughs> and this was the second time. And both times they tried to discourage me from like filing the report. The first time someone was helping me and a cop next to him was like, he doesn't have to help you with this, you know? Wow. What a dick. So it's, you know, it's like, and I paid taxes at the right. time. I mean, I still, I still pay taxes, but, like, you know, I had, like, a, a, a big, big girl job. Right. Um, so, so the stalker thing is, in, is, is gone now, right? Well, he, I, does he I still, blocked him. Does he him. still DM you and shit? No, no I blocked him on oh, everything. Good. good. Because that's, that was the advice is don't engage whatsoever because in his relation, in his head, there's a, a full-blown relationship. He was asking, like, me to have babies, and then when I didn't respond to him, he was like, fuck you. And then he said, like, purple stink pussy. And I'm like, what? how did he know? No, <laughs> <laughs> no but, like, um. And you're, when you just say, text me, you're like, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I didn't want, it was, it was starting to get, like, he, he was shifting. I saw there was a shift. Yeah. And then when That's I blocked terrifying. him on one thing, he texted my number. I didn't have this number back then. That scared the shit out of me. You know what's scary, too? I have a unique name, too. I can be tracked down. Sure. Yeah. I wish I, I wish I would had a stage name like a, like a, but but also like how many fizzes with two A's are there? One's you know like it's so it's for sure. I've never heard your name before ever, uh, and that's why I think it's so cool and so unique. How did your parents come up with the name Fizza? It's an ethnic name, you know. Like yeah. it's not super uncommon. My real but name it's is not, but it's not common either. My real my real name is Matthew Reitmeyer. Is it? Yeah, but my middle name is Brady, so yeah. I just. Would, Put Brady Matthews because every time I go on stage, I'm like, "All right, give it up for uh, Matthew." Ri 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 no, that's a great name. And I that's was a like, great stage name. I was like, "Fuck, thanks." And I was like, "Okay, well, I just got, I got to change this because no one can say Reitmeyer, so I just yeah. said fucking Brady Matthews." No, it's like, a great name. I appreciate it. Thanks, but um, it, I love I, a good stage name. Yeah, my buddy, my buddy goes, um, he goes, they put your fake name on the comedy store wall. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's your that's your stage name. Yeah, but no, it was it was cool. Yeah. Um, so in your comedy, where, where do you see like yourself in like five, 10 years? Do you want to, you want to be touring nationally with your show? You want to be, I just look, th there's no limit. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go as far as I want to go. Yeah. Like, and then I'll, you know, until I don't want to anymore. Yeah. So like in terms of like quantifying the time, I don't like to do that. I just like to keep moving forward. Yeah. So like, yeah, I'll, I want to. Tear it up. Yeah. You know, like, really, I want to express myself. That's what it comes down to. I, I like just have things I want to say, and I want to express it. If I can help people, great. Yeah. I like, I like um, me, I'm more of a physical comic, and I like seeing other physical comedians. And I think the, I'm I pretty love, physical. Yeah, I love your energy up there. That's one thing that draw me to you is um, how physical and funny you are up there. Thank you. Because a lot, a lot of people go up there, and they'll just, you know, some people are really good technically with jokes. But it's like, uh, also... 
I grew up in a cult, like this is how I communicate also. Yeah. So it's like sort of authentic. It's not like, like when I talk, I, I use my hands. Yeah. So. Do you remember your first joke? Um, I ask people all the time and they can't remember. I, I kind of remember my first one, but I'm always curious about other comedians if they remember their first joke. Paul, you remember your first joke? I sure. You do? Hmm. Paul's young. Yeah, Paul's a baby, dude. He's a baby. Yep, he's Dimples. A, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> what was my first joke? Oh, I had, a, I had my first joke was I, uh, I go, people waiting out, out, out in line at, for Lord of the Rings, and I go, I dress up in a banana suit. And it was so bad. I dress up in a banana suit, and I go, oh, you guys haven't seen the movie yet? <laughs> That's good. That's the whole time, right? <laughs> I go, you guys haven't seen the movie yet? I go, oh, watch what they do with the banana. She's crazy. Oh, my God. That was it. And I was like, oh, my God. Well, so I bad. remember, like, a joke from one of my first sets. I yeah. wish I came more prepared, but... Um, That's all right. I had one, like... I said, like, I wanted to invent an Anne Hathaway repellent and call that shit Anne Hathaway. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. It's it just, like, she's... <laughs> I, I want her to do something, so maybe I could, like, use that joke again. Why not? But also, it's just, like, it's a one-liner. You know, I don't really do that What's your anymore. process in terms of um, finding new jokes? Just just comes to you, or do you actually sit down and write? I'm not a sitting down and I can't. writing. But I can't. Because I'm, I'm active. I need to be active. It's very hard for me just to sit down. Yeah. It, I, it depresses me. Yeah. So, so like... I'm writing throughout the day. Anytime I think of something, <laughs> I'm writing when I'm driving. No, I'm not which really. Is the, which is um, the best time? Yeah. Walking. I love walking. Yeah. Um, hiking. Hiking. Girls love hiking. I, you know, it's. Paul, you hike? I grew up in Florida. It lands flat. I hate hiking. So this is, it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. I can't stand hiking. I had to train, though, because I did a hike in Peru, a three-day hike in Peru. Really? Yeah, so I had to train. Because I'm not like, you, you know, like. I'm not. I'm not like an elite athlete. You're right. So I mean, you have an athletic build, though. You know, I feel like outside it's cool, but like, what's going on inside my body? Sure. I'm, I need to get. I need to get a physical. Yeah. If I feel good. That's the thing. Is I feel good, but who knows? If people knew what was going on inside my body, it'd be fucking terrifying. Um, so, if you could do anything else besides stand-up comedy, what, would there be any other job that you'd want to do? Be a I doctor. No, I don't. I just. You know, I like. <laughs> When it comes to science, I like the broad strokes, but the little details you have to, to it's just not my thing. You yeah. know? It doesn't excite me. I love painting. I think it's really peaceful. Yeah, that is so cool. I love painting um, and, and crafts. I've designed furniture and clothes. And have stuff. you really? Yeah. That's cool. Um, I love making stuff with my hands. Yeah. <clears throat> no, that, <laughs> so, I love that. Do, like, do you ever do pottery and shit like that? Um, I've never done pottery. It's a little messy. Yeah. Like, um, I like paint, though, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I love getting my hands dirty. I love uh, starting a painting is a pain I've in the ass. I painted pottery. Like, I've been, have you? Have you been to Color Me Mine? Yes. I love Color Me Mine. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> have you ever been to those? Um, I'm a big dork. No, same here. Yeah. Big. Th- what is something that that people don't know about you that how big of a dork you are? Like, what is? Would do you like watch nerdy stuff? Do you listen to like nerdy music? What what would what would you say? The dorkiest thing. I'm so freaking dorky like i love food anything food network shit i fucking I, love it and i can't yeah. cook to save my life i, I mean i probably could but i don't you, you could cook to save I your can, life i can but, i can um I but can, just to save your i can life. barbecue yeah but to save my life yes. oh you I'd can have to. you gotta invite me to some barbecue i'm down yes i make a fucking mean flank steak mm-hmm. i love flank steak dude i make the I'm best i'm not a cooker but i'm an eater okay that's fine i but i think i can cook right i just you ever try to cook I've never. It's my heart's never really been in it. Did your mom cook? Yeah, good stuff? she did. It frustrated her so much that you didn't. That you yeah, didn't have to cook because she'd want me to. And my sister cooks. Yeah, and she enjoys it. She's very particular about what she eats. Oh, does she do like clean eating? My sister does that. She does the keto shit. I don't know what she calls it, yeah. but like she just like she doesn't do gluten. I think she has an out. And I really shouldn't because I have eczema. I bet if I cut out dairy and gluten, like it would I go away. I can't even smell dairy. Otherwise, I'll clear this fucking room out. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm so lactose. It's ridiculous, dude. It's awful. But like, yeah, we shouldn't be drinking other animals' milk anyway. Like, True. It's it's I don't even creepy. Like, I don't right? even, it's so I creepy. Do, yes, I don't even like milk. It's so gross. Like I didn't yeah. even like chocolate milk. Like back in the day, you put oh, the fucking like, syrup did. in the milk. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. Um, what is a? Uh, do you like like if you could write for any show? What show would you like to write for? My own. Yeah. Okay. Good yeah. answer. See, like, I always wanted to be on Martin. That was my favorite show. Martin's dope. Martin's, Martin's the so best. good. Classic. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, what about female comics? Who are some female comics that you look up to? Uh, Deborah <laughs> D. Giovanni. Never heard of her. Really? No. Oh, my God. Deborah D. Giovanni? Please is that, look is that her a, up. A, a, that's one Undeniably person? Undeniably funny. Yeah. Really? Yeah. White chick? Yeah, yeah, Canadian. Oh, okay. Um, <coughs> yeah, she's great. Highly recommend. Um, Ida Rodriguez. Yeah. Paul, you going to pick up the poop? You're going to pick up the shit right oh, now. Oh, yeah, someone shit outside. Yeah, someone shit outside. Um, you, when you got to go, you got to go. Ellen. Though, you know? I love Paul's gloves on. Look at him. How adorable are you? Isn't he the cutest? I love it. I'm going to tell you something. I don't know if you can handle it. Sure. Paul's nickname yeah. used to be Pork Bun. What? You never told me that. Oh, you did tell me that. And you got pissed. You got, you got real pissed. Pork Bun. <laughs> I love it. Although I think it's kind of adorable. He's so cute. And if, and if, it, if it offends you that I call you cute, please tell me. I don't want to <clears> be in, <throat> No, like, Paul annoying. loves it. I call him cute all the time. <laughs> yeah. He's adorable. Um, <clears throat> so, Ellen, Ellen. I love Ellen. Have you seen her new special? Oh my God! So good. So good, and I, I love Ellen. Um, and her the interviews with David Letterman came out the new season. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen any of those. Her interview <clears throat> just came out, and her interview. I, I'm like, I was watching it this morning, and then I had to leave so I could, you know, yeah, podcast, have fun here. Sure. But like, it's so good. I'm like a third of the way through. It's so good. Really? She's her energy is. Uh, is she, you know what, you kind of remind me it. of her a little bit, like, um, like in stand-up wise, like she'll say something and then she'll, she just like diverts it right over here. Says something yeah. and diverts it right over you here. You know, that's so interesting because I, <clears throat> she, she said that in the interview and I, you know, I had to run so I didn't get to register it, but that struck, because it's very hard to sort of see yourself. Yeah. It's, it, and so when I get feedback from other comics, it's actually really helpful. Yeah. Just because like, oh, I do that. And it's like. That's really interesting you said that, because I started thinking about that this oh, morning. Oh, for sure. Um, do you, <clears throat> like, what are some other comedians that you like to watch? Like, what about, like, any guy comedians you respect and like? Yeah, yeah, Bill Burr. Yeah, Bill Burr's great. He gave me 40 bucks backstage in the main room at the comedy store you one time. 40 bucks? Yeah, because he, he's like, I think a while ago, I just ran, he's like, did you open for me one time? And, like... I think he got me confused for someone else, but I did a show with him. Maybe thought you were like Monrock or something? Yeah, I think he might have thought I was Monrock or Aparna. Maybe he thought I was Aparna. And I was like, yeah. And then he just pulled out <laughs> 40 bucks and just gave it to me. And I'm like, you know, and then he insisted I, I took it. That's so random. Yeah. He, like he almost forgot that he you had you open for him and didn't pay you or something? Like I don't he, know. I didn't, I didn't, you know, like. So you just took it and you're like. He, you he, he's a busy man. <laughs> what if you were like. He's a busy man and I was young. So I'll see you next week, right? <laughs> that would have been. We're still doing that uh, that other date, right? We're still doing that other date. But you know what? I did actually go up that night. Oh, you did. I did go up that night. I had a good set. Yeah. But I think he left at that point. Where where um where do you like going up here in L.A. Anywhere where they have you? Yeah, I go up anywhere. I just my favorite place to go up is New York City. Oh yeah. Yeah. When that's I was my... when I was going for um, SNL, I would go to Gotham and work out my whole set, and it was the most fun I had on stand up yeah. doing stand up comedy ever. Where's the worst place you've gone and done stand-up comedy at besides corporate events? Um, I mean, probably some bar shows, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, some of them, it's just... I, I did one show where bar the comic before... Bar shows are the before, worst, aren't they? I think they're a good workout, and sometimes, sometimes like, a, there's, there are good bar shows. Yeah. Is Venice Underground? Like, that's Venice a, is great. Venice Underground is one of the best shows in L.A., and I think it's I, technically I totally a agree. bar show. Yeah, it, yeah, it's basically a bar show. I think it should be a fucking comedy club. It's so cool down oh, there. Oh, it's, it's great. Yeah, it should be a comedy club. Totally. It's, it's you get back that to caliber oh, of yeah. show. Do you get to go back down to um, Florida and do stand-up there? I don't go to Florida often. Um, I have. Like, I've done Off the Hook Comedy Club, which is close to my, you right. know. But I, I don't go to Florida very much. Yeah. And there's um, not, like, you know, in Miami, they closed down that, that improv. Oh, yeah. Coconut Grove. So I don't, I don't even know what the scene. And all the comics I knew in Florida are out, like, are out here All now. here? Yeah. Um, I don't even know. Do you know, do you know Eric Myers? Yeah, I love Eric. Is he still doing stand-up? I think so. I haven't seen him in a hot minute. He, um... I know he had some He's public issues. about his, mm. yeah, his, his addiction yeah. troubles. And I, you know, it's actually, that's sort of like what I bonded over. Because I met him as a younger comic, and that's when I was getting my life together. So, you know, he, he's, he was a cool person to talk to about that. But, yeah, I think his, it's, it's you know, I don't know if I should bring this up. Sure, bring it up. I don't, because <clears throat> I don't. 
Do you remember when on Facebook he accidentally posted that? Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> when he went on that rant. Not the rant. Or but he was. Well, he posted a couple of different things on Facebook that was pretty crazy. It, a naked picture. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> you didn't? He posted I a nude? I thought everyone... Posted a nude of I himself? don't think he meant to, because it looked like... Oh, no. It was on, like, the stories, and so you could see everyone who saw it. Wow. Or you could see everyone who saw it, but, like, everyone saw it. Have... have I'm sure you get guys sending you nude I love pics. Eric. And, and, and you know what? He, had, he has a... He had, Everyone was just talking about how big his dick was, so, you know. I got the pants once at a... Um, I was taking a picture of um, all my friends, and I got on a chair, and yeah. I was wearing these pink shorts, and my buddy just fucking took my pants right down. <laughs> and I still took the picture. I just, I held it, and I was, everyone's just staring at my wiener. I'm like, guys, get closer. <laughs> get closer. It's embarrassing. Do you all guys think they have a big penis? I, I, I mean, I, mine's not big, but it's not small. So it's, oh, right, wow. it's right in the middle. So, you know, it yeah. is what it is. I'm not, you know, people are like, I'm a grower. I'm not a shore. I'm like, I'm just an in-betweener. <laughs> Like that's just it is what it is, you know. But uh, do you ever get you get guys sending you like, do you get guys sending you naked pics? Um. Well, the thing is, is like, does I, it do anything Instagram, for girls? Not if it's not if I have no no connection to the guy. Right. Yeah. But like, I used to do I when have I was a younger, but I was like, eh. on Instagram we have filters now. So like, if it's not someone I follow, it, it'll go to my filter. And, for sure. And it, a lot of times it. Wait, you get it. guys sending you through your DMs on on Instagram? Mm hmm I actually had. What? I actually had like a male supermodel. He saw me at Haha. Ha. <laughs> Hilarious. I had a good set, but I was like, I was, I looked like a crazy person. I was like, basically, I'm always in sweatpants, right? And I had a good set. I didn't even, I noticed him in the audience, but like, you know, I'd, I'm not really attracted to guys until I get to know them. Sure. Um, but like, so you're he, not like, you're not like, that guy's hot. I'm going to go talk to him. Usually you have to get a dialogue with them somehow, some way, right? Yeah, because like, it's, do, do you feel like you're approachable for guys to come up to you? Or? I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. It just depends on the guy. Sure. You know, like. Anyway, so you've I said. I like bold men. Sure. Yeah. Not bald men, but bold men. Bold. Yeah. What's yeah. your What's your demographic for a guy? Like tall, I don't blonde, have a type because yeah. I don't like to limit myself. Sure. I think like sometimes when people have types, like they got like. It's related to some trauma. Sure. <laughs> or, or, or you're just trying to find that same person every time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I don't really have a type, but like if I were to build a man, sure, um, build a guy. Yeah, like I think taller than me is is cool. Yeah, um, hair. I like hair. You like it? Yeah, hair's like, hair's kind of a good hair, thing. Um, one or two eyes. Yeah, that I dated works. a guy with what about an eye ears? patch. Yeah, you know, like I have ears that stick out. Oh yeah, okay, not not that and, bad. Yeah, they're cute. Yeah, they're cute. Um, but like you know, I. Would you ever I, date a guy in a wheelchair? Yeah. Really. Wow. See, I'm super vain. I'm open like, to it. Yeah. I date... What if his, I wee, what if date, his I've had a crush work? on a little person. What? Before. But you know, but he's he's a comic. I like you. You got an open mind. I do. I consider myself an open mind. Because I don't... I don't know. A it's, free bird, if you will. If you have. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, love people, yeah. <laughs> I love Leonard Skinner. I love Leonard Skinner. Dude, I love Leonard Skinner. Yeah. I, listen, I listen to Bob Seger and Leonard Skinner when I paint. Yeah. Over and over again. Can we got to have a painting party. I'm down. I got tons of spray paint. I love Paul's just basically out there just cleaning right now. I can't believe that's his job. Well, I, yeah, I love that he's doing it right now. Super loud. <laughs> nice work, Paul. Super loud. He's sweeping he's su human he's shit. And the person did have the decency to put the you know newspaper over the shit. Yeah, to break it down for people that don't know what's happening outside, uh, someone took a dump right by the door, took a huge shit, and uh, Paul, the producer here at Comedy Pop-Up, uh, is cleaning the poop. Yeah, and that's pr that's that's nice of him. I don't know why he's doing it right now during my podcast, but <laughs> why not, right? What the fuck? Oh. I mean, yeah, I don't think he realizes super how loud. loud it is. Yeah. yeah, super duper loud. Nice work, Paul. City life. What a dick. <laughs> um, have you ever taken a dump outside before? Have you ever done that at like Coachella or anything? Or I'm like. Would you pee outside? I've peed outside. I, I haven't have. taken a dump because I'm very like particular about like. I don't cleaning think I could, myself yeah. after. I could never take a dump outside. I mean, I could if I had to. If you, if your life depended on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, okay. So my, I went to a village in India once. Okay, I'm listening. And there was not you a had regular to shit toilet. Outside. Yeah. It wasn't outside, but like it was on the ground. So if I had to shit, I had to squat and shit in the hole in the ground. Yeah. And the, I mean, it was like ceramic. You could flush it. So like it wasn't super outside, but sure. it, I mean, I was squatting. So like for an American. What kid, did you wipe with? Leaves. 
No, <laughs> toilet paper and um, we're wet baby wipes, I think. I, I'm like a, I use wet wipes. I, I like, I just, I like, I need my butthole to be clean. Totally. It, no, just, I, it doesn't feel right if it's I not. get it. The worst is when you take a shower and then you have to take a shit. I, it happens so much. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's obviously, it's, it's first world problems, but yeah. like I took a shower the other day and I'm like, great, now I have to take a dump. And then I had to take another <laughs> shower. It's the worst. You took, you took another shower. See, I'll just, that's the wet wipes. I'll just be like, this is good enough. Sometimes when I have to shit, I just won't shit because I'm too lazy sometimes. Yeah. Oh, that's not good for you. No, it's not good at all. Yeah, yeah. I get up. headaches if I if I don't clean oh, myself. You get headaches yeah. and you don't poop. If I hold it in, like I'll I'll literally see. Get I a think headache. it's I think I think it's uh, it's kind of nice when a girl's open about going to the bathroom. I dated a girl once. She's like, "Can you leave?" I'm like, "Why?" She goes, "I have to go to the bathroom." I go, "So go to the bathroom." She goes, "No, I have to go to the bathroom bathroom." Oh, wait, go- she want, you wanted her to shit in front of you? She, no, she wanted me to leave the apartment because she had to take a dump. Oh. She can't have anyone in the place. How how um, long had you guys been dating? <clears throat> Not long. Well, yeah, she probably didn't want to hear you to hear her fart. and she, Maybe she had to, you know, you don't know what I'll, kind of dump this, this turn woman the t- has to take. <laughs> that's true. What if it was like, it was aggressive? She, you know what, that's what she could have done. She could have turned the TV up. She could Turn the TV the, on. Yeah, there you go. I can't, I mean... I Would you have listened? Not at all. No, I don't want to... Listen, I don't think girls poop. I mean, also, <laughs> we do. I'll tell you that right now. We do. Paul, you're going back for round two? Okay. <laughs> what did that shit look like? It looked way smaller under the newspaper. Did you put it in... Oh, my God. Did you put the poop in the bucket? Oh, yeah. You just Oh, he's dumping s- water. Out? I like that. You're old school. You're like... You did not pick it up with the newspaper. I'm going to throw up. What else would he pick up You know up what, though? With, though? I, did it, I do it with my dog's poop. What am I talking about? Yeah. My, my, dog, <laughs> my dog fucking uh, took a huge dump yesterday, and there was a car trying to park in the spot. So the car is trying to park in the spot. My dog's taking a dump in the spot. I'm like, and he had diarrhea. Oh, God. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> How do you clean that up? Or you just don't? Yeah, you do the best you can. Well, <laughs> Take newspaper and just fucking, all right. It's awful. We just talked about poop for about 10 minutes. Yeah, it's cool. No one's doing that right now. You know what? Yeah. People, it's just, what's the problem? Sure. Why do people, what, what's, why do people have problems it's with basic? It's, it's, human, it's human life, yeah. if you will. Wait, what kind of doctors are, are your mom and dad? Uh, my dad is pulmonary, so that's lung. And um, how, do you get into, how do you get into, like, one day you're like, you know what? I'm going to be a fucking lung doctor. I mean, I think you're exposed to everything in med school. You have to be exposed to everything. And then, like, you can apply to, like, specific fields. And And he's still learning as he's going, probably, right? Well, because, yeah, uh, you know, technology changes. Medicine's changed. So they have to, I think, you know, I I see. And my dad, the thing is, is he's he's a powerhouse. Like, he's still working. He's the oldest doctor I know that's still working. How old's your dad? He was born in 51. So that would make him. Almost 70. Oh, I hate thinking of parents. I know. Aging. I hate that too. <laughs> I hate seeing like your family get older. And, he like, looks young though. He has great skin. Does you guys, you guys have great skin. I mean, I, I think we're lucky as a. People. You're gonna look like you're 25 for basically your whole life. I hope so. No, I, do you you moisturize and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. I um, I moisturize. I I just got into it, like doing those masks. <laughs> yeah. But see, guys, like you guys can pull off a rugged look. I think like with. Women, it's interesting because I think, like, in, according to the standards of beauty, men get more attractive with age. I mean, there's a point of diminishing returns, of course. Of but course. with women, that point of diminishing returns from this standard of beauty is younger. Yeah. You know? Uh, well, you so. know, no, I, I get that. Um, like me, like, I'm starting to get a lot of gray in my fucking beard. I'm getting gray in my baby hair. You, really? Yeah, a, or white. I don't see any at there's all. There's, like, two here and, like, two here. I don't mind. I like it, actually. I, I mean, love salt and pepper on a guy. Really? Yeah. All right, I got that. I got uh, gray chest hair. What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean, I, it doesn't... Yeah. The color of the hair doesn't bother me. started happening out of nowhere. I was like, motherfucker, dude. It's really happening. You never think you're going to get older, and then you sooner... And then it's just, bam, you're old. Yeah, it's just, like, your body starts doing stuff. After it's 35, like, I swear to God, my metabolism... Slow down so fast. I had to like go for like two runs a day, because I was like noticing that I was gaining weight so fast. Oh I'm, like, my God. I'm like a fucking chick. Yeah. Yeah. It's terrible. I, um, I don't know. Aging, man. Yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> it's the worst. I I think you know it. It's so interesting because I, emotionally it feels better. Yeah. Aging does. I feel, you know, I feel better. But like, 
physically, you know, I get like weird little, like I used to be able to do all kinds of stuff. Like I didn't have to stretch in the morning. I could right. jump and do a split. Like, yeah. I can't even, every time I get up or make any kind of move I, or exert myself, make I make a noise. A noise. Yeah. What is that? Did I, I always know. do that? Dude, I do the when same. Th I don't, it just, it feels better. Like when I sit down, I go like this, I go, oh. <sighs> yep. It just, for some reason, I need that noise to, to, to feel better. I think it better. helps with the ex exerting. I do this a lot a too. Yeah. With my back. I'm like always trying to get like, like, because I don't want to be like hunched over all the time. <laughs> yeah. My mom used to do that all the time. She would grab my shoulders and just go. Back like this. Yeah, my mom was big on posture as well. I was just having <laughs> poop talk. Yeah, doors Paul's open. Just, there's a door open for the studio. Hey, Paul. There's a <laughs> Are we still podcasting? <laughs> there's like a sign like, hey girl. don't interrupt it. Hey, Natasha. Natasha. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but Paul's, Paul's <laughs> doing his raw, thing. This is man. We're live from the CPU. <laughs> I think we're almost done anyways. Hey, what's up, man? Craig Conant. What up, Natasha Craig? Pearl Hansen. Uh, Paul's just picking up poop. We're still podcasting, but yeah, yeah. Someone shit right Someone there. Someone shit yeah. right there. Look at how tan you are, girl. Wow. You know she's half black too, right? Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, Paul, are we almost done. Okay. I guess. I guess that's. I, yeah. I guess that's it. <laughs> All right. Um, where can people see you for shows? Where, what, do you, what do you have coming up? I know you have your facial rec recognition on this yeah, so uh, comedy pop-up. Yeah, so that we have our podcast, our weekly podcast, new episode every Tuesday, facial recognition comedy. Um, we have our shows, our tour. We're at the um, Westside Comedy Theater, second Sunday of every month, 9 p.m. in Santa Monica. We are going to start a monthly show at, at New York Comedy Club in New York City, so stay tuned That's for cool. that. We're at Irvine Improv, July 23rd, Damn, you're hitting up all the spots. Yeah, man, we, we're getting in this world. We're hustlers. Yeah, dude, you we're got hustlers. to. We're hustlers. With and a name like Fizza, you know what I mean? I know, my parents named me Fizza. What do they expect? Yeah, what's your middle name? Zareen. Fizza Zareen. Now, now all my stalkers will be, be able to find me. He's and listen, easy. you have your own podcast. They've been, they've been watching yeah, for a yeah, hot minute. Yeah, my, my address. I'm the, uh, I need your, to get a taser. What's your, yeah, or get the lady claw. You ever seen the lady claw? No, what's that? It's like fucking. Uh, oh, like, it's like, like keys. Like yeah, but no, it's like. Uh, have you seen it? Rats, that's what it is. Okay. That's, that's, Craig, that's Craig's new uh, podcast name. Yeah. You got two? Can I borrow one? Jesus, dude. That's Trader, See, like, that's Trader Joe shit right there. I'm so clumsy. Like, if I carried, like, certain type of weapons, like, I could just hurt myself. Just hurt yourself? Yeah, so. Use the taser and you just do it when you're drunk and just <laughs> do it with people? Um, what's your Instagram and, and Twitter and all that stuff? Instagram, Twitter is just my name. I'll spell it for you. Don't expect you to know how to spell it. Um, F-I-Z-A-A. -A, that is one Z and two A's. And then last name, Dasani, D-O-S-A-N-I. Well, Fizzy Dasani. Well, thank you for doing the podcast. Uh, that's been episode 21 with Brady Matthews. Please subscribe, share, listen, love um, at comedypopup.net. That has been my first. That has been Fizza Dasani. Um, fucking have a great day. Bless, bless up. Thank you for doing bless this. Bless up. <laughs>